But listen to this hadith, narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he went out of his home at an odd time of the day, at an odd time of the day or the night. So it was a time that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa typically would not come out of his home. So it can be assumed that it was between Dhuhr or Asr or it was sometime in the night and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa came out. When he walked out, he noticed two people sitting in the masjid. Abu Bakr and Umar. May Allah be pleased with them. Typically, this story would end up going in this direction. They then went and they worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or they proceeded to some sort of expedition or some sort of place in Medina or to visit somebody because that's how it always was, right? The Prophet ﷺ, Abu Bakr and Umar. How many ahadith start off that way? The Prophet ﷺ and Abu Bakr and Umar, may Allah be pleased with them both. This one is different. The Prophet ﷺ comes out of his home at an odd time of the night and he notices Abu Bakr and Umar sitting there. And he says to them, ما أخرجكما من بيوتكما هذه الساعة. What is it that brought you out of your homes in this odd hour? They said الجوع يا رسول الله. Starvation, O Messenger of Allah. We're hungry. We came out out of hunger. Abu Bakr and Umar. These are the three most important people in the Ummah. Think about that. And they're sitting in the masjid, and they said the only thing that brought us out at this hour was الجوع. We're starving. We're hungry. And guess what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says? وَأَنَا وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِي he said, and I too, by the one in whose hand is my soul, I only was brought out of my home because of that which brought you out of your home. The Prophet ﷺ and Abu Bakr and Umar were hungry. And they were coming out of their home at an odd time of the night because they were hungry. If you just stop and pause at that for a moment, the Prophet ﷺ, who had the most adoring set of followers of any man in history, who had the greatest generation present with him in the Sahaba of the Prophet Qarni, the greatest Ummah, the greatest generation of people, the greatest man with the two greatest men of the Ummah that were not Prophet, in the masjid, in a prominent place, because they didn't have anything to eat and they could not sleep because of their intense hunger. The man who والسلام, used to have people at his door all throughout the day and night, knocking and calling out to him, always making demands of him, about whom Allah revealed Surah Al-Hujurat. People calling upon the Prophet ﷺ, the Surah of the Hujurat, because they were calling upon the Prophet ﷺ throughout the day, throughout the night, and really harassing him. He was being harassed alayhi salatu wasalam. To listen to this person, and listen to that person, and do this and do that, and not being given his privacy, not being given his personal space alayhi salatu wasalam. And they were hungry. No one noticed that the Prophet ﷺ, Abu Bakr and Umar were hungry. And this is a reality, by the way, that we have to understand that usually caretakers are never cared for. It's a part of our human psyche. No one thought to ask the Prophet ﷺ if he was hungry. No one thought to ask Abu Bakr or Umar if they were okay. The Prophet ﷺ who used to go out and would, if he noticed hunger in your face, think of the narrator of the hadith Abu Huraira, who once the Prophet ﷺ just knew he was hungry by looking at him and took his hand and found him something to eat for the night. He knew it from your face. The Prophet ﷺ, who spent day and night in the service of the people, feeding the people, no one bothered to ask, Ya Rasulullah, are you hungry? His khuluq, his character was the Qur'an. تحسبهم أغنياء. You would think that these people are sufficed because of their ta'affuf, because of his modesty sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It never showed. He was smiling. He looked fine. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never showed discontents with his companions. He never showed them that he was hungry. He never showed them that he was in need. In fact, the only time he did it sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was when Umar radiallahu anhu, one of the three hungry men at that time, walked up to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the battle of Ahzab in Al-Khandaq and pulled up his shirt and showed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he had a stone tied to his stomach because of how hungry he was. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pulled up his shirt and he had two stones tied to his. That's the only time he ever disclosed his situation alayhi salatu wa